Hello, uh, it's me, Mr. Hubner, your friendly neighborhood, fifth and sixth grades, uh, ELA, social studies and math teacher, and all around nice person, I guess. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video tutorial just to make sure that we're all on the same page because I know there's been some issues lately with students being able to log into Zoom. So I wanted to, sometimes I feel like seeing it really helps. So. Uh, from the desktop, if you're using your school computer, you should already have the Zoom app like right there. If you're working off of another laptop or off of something else uh, and you're using the Zoom app, you're going to kind of follow these same steps. But in order to log in, uh, I have opened up Zoom and it's given me the option to sign in either using an email password or these other three options. I want to make sure, and you need to make sure, that you're clicking on sign in with Google. When you do, it'll open up a new window and ask you to choose and use your school email account. This is the important part because now in our settings as teachers, we clicked to make sure that only authenticated users can access Zoom. Authenticated means you are signing in using your at llacslv.com email address. So what I'm going to do, since I have on my computer, I have my school email address and my personal. I'm going to click on my personal email address because I have that saved. And it's going to ask me to allow uh, because I also have my password saved. But if it didn't, it would ask me to put in my password. From here, I am now logged into Zoom. I'm logged into the, the program using my password. The other thing that people are running into is there has been an update. Uh, so when there's updates that come out, sometimes they help fix bugs, they help fix things that happen. The way to check to make sure that your version of Zoom is the most recent, the most up-to-date one, is you see up in the corner this little blue square here that looks like my background? Well, that's my profile. So you go all the way up into the upper right hand corner above the little gear icon for settings. I click on that and this gives a little bit of information about my, my profile. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit to where it says check for updates. Click on that and a pop-up will come up telling you whether or not like if you are up to date or if you are not. If you're not up to date, it will then automatically, it should automatically start downloading the most uh, recent update to Zoom. And once you do, it may kick you out again, but when you do, just make sure that you go in and you're signing in using your at llacslv.com email address and your school password. That way you will be in as an authenticated user and you will not miss one of your fantastic ELA slash social studies or science or uh, math or singing or whatever other classes that you're taking, or especially in high school if you're taking those interdisciplinary courses that sounds so awesome. I don't want anybody to miss their courses, so hopefully this helps. And if not, then I'm sorry for wasting the last six minutes of your life. But, you know, we're just trying to help. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and don't forget to be awesome.